and everyone welcome to freelancer surveying channel today we are going to learn how to do unsupervised classification from iso data clustering method uh, first of all i'm inputting here the final radiometric and atmospheric corrected image i have already uploaded the video of pre-processing the images and this Okay, you can check out that video from the description link and uh, let's move forward. Let's open a file which is radiometric and atmospheric corrected and this is final image and let's open it. It's now loaded our study area. Now let's go to classification section in our toolbox. Please follow me. Uh, here is a classification and when we expand it there is a function called classification workflow. Open it. Now let's select our file and it's already been selected. Now press next. It takes some time. And here we have to select the classification type and for unsupervised classification we select no training data and use next and it's on supervised classification using the ISO data parameter and I am classifying the number of classes into 20 the more classes you can classify the result will be better for all this now for this video I'm using only a uh, 20 classification and maximum yield is on 200 and I'm modifying the tensor threshold to 5% and it's now processing Here we got the two options enable smoothing and enable aggregation. And I'm not using the smoothing part, but I'm using the aggregation part. And the minimum size, the size one means a uh, one pixel. And here for our images, the pixel size is 30 meter and 9 pixel is about 9, about 20 centimeter so I'll not use this I'll reduce it to 2 aggregate minimum size to 2 and let's see how this is performed You can click on preview section or preview and click how this affects the classification and you can move in the window too. Okay now click on next.
and now we have to give a classification or output classification image output the name and the folder okay and we can export the classification vector to and uh, here let's give our name I so classification Here we got our classification and it has been classified into 20 different number of classes and we don't know which classes belongs to which type of land cover. So let's uh, plan. Let's plan our classification types. Okay. And here. And there's a classification type the forest and water for code 2 and built up for code 3 and the last one agriculture P code 4 and let's create a field for 20 different classes and we are going to manually classify each classes classified by IC data classification technique and it falls into which class from these four classification types and now let's go back to Go back to Henry and let's set classification of one, two, three, four types or let's classify this twenty classes. For this you have to uncheck the all the classification all the 20 classification and again check each one classification type okay here my screen is responding slow check on class one and see the visualization and compare it with the final classified image and you can check that this class 1 belongs to which and for this image this class 1 belongs to forest and 2 and 3 are null values and we can check that uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 7, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 manually for each type we classify them into different in our world pad and let's speed up
here we have classified the 20 different classes from unsupervised classification into four hard specification type and we have done this manually there was some glitch during this process when i'm recording so please forgive that and let's open a map and we'll do a reclassification in ArcMap. Okay. Merging the two different software for classification on box, I think it is or it will be easier. So let's open ArcGIS and do a classification, a reclassification. Let's open the classification file or images. Now, yes, let's let's open the ISO data classified image. Now go to search bar or search toolbar and search reclassify. Reclassify. And go to reclassify special analyst. and select the classifier raster and now we get the value and we can assign a new value for this select or click on unique value and it gives us a whole value into a number of values and we can provide the new value that we have classified in old and let's entry all those new values in the new value section and after in we entry the all the 20 classes new value or new classes we provide output raster location and click on ok after that we'll click on ok
here we have got our images with the new reclassification and we have uh, provided the one two three four values or we have uh, compressed or reclassified the 20 classes into four normal classes and now here on the symbology tab let's go to value and provide this one two three four classification uh, name and one is forest Two is water, and three is built up, and four is agriculture. And this entry, all those classification names. Okay, after this, we select the color, and for the forest, we select our green color. And for water, we select blue color. And similarly, for build up red color, and for agriculture, yellow color. And press OK. And now here we got the classified image, which represents the green represents forest, blue represents water, red represents the build up, and yellow represents agriculture. And we can add legend. Okay. In this way, we can classify the images using unsupervised classification technique if you want to learn about uh, different types of other classification types and their processes or how to perform those you can subscribe our channel and we are going to publish a new video of other type of classification uh, technique also Thank you. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and keep learning. Keep smiling too. Bye.